Oh, good morning. It's around 6.30 to 7 o'clock in uh, Newfoundland time. Behind me, the pilot has just come on board our cruise ship. And in the very distance, you see Cape Spear, which is the most easterly mainland point on the continent of North America. And we are about to enter Newfoundland through the Narrows. So we'll film that. Unfortunately, team's not around just right now. So we will uh, see what we can see. So the pilot's just come on board and his boat's going away. And if you look right at this point, that is Cape Spear, the most easterly point in the continent of North America. There's two lighthouses. There's the original square one uh, from the early 1800s. And then there's a more modern rounded one, which is uh, the one that's actually flashing right now that you might be able to see. So you can see the city of St. John's directly in front of us through the Narrows. This is where we're going to be going through. And it's the entrance to a protected port. You can already see the rooms building, which is up on the hill and the cathedral. And when we get a little closer, I'll show you a bit more, but just right on this hill here is Signal Hill. That's where Marconi transmitted the first radio signal to Europe. Looking from the cliffs as we come in. Okay, team. So, it's Monday and it's, I think, Labor Day? It is, and we've just landed in St. John's. We kind of forgot it was Labor Day. Which St. John's is this? In Newfoundland. It is. So, and we're in St. John's, Newfoundland, and we just got off the boat. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and nowhere's open. Because it's Labor Day and we forgot that everywhere's shut but we're working on finding Wi-Fi somewhere, aren't and we? We're gonna make the best of it because it's a beautiful <laughs> city. It is. So we're gonna to continue to explore. Here we are. We are down by the waterfront. This is our ship behind us. We're moored in... St. John's, Newfoundland. Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. Good to be home. It you is. Use our real money. Yeah, real Canadian dollars. Oh, but then we're back to Euros tomorrow. Then we are. Back to Canadian dollars. But it feels good to be on land. So we've just done a whole bunch of YouTube uploading. Yep. So you should be able to see one fairly soon that we uploaded in Newfoundland that we produced in Cash Kais. Which we still can't pronounce in <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> So we're having a wonderful time on our cruise. We are. And we're looking forward to uh, a few more ports of call. St. Pierre de Michelot. That's tomorrow. tomorrow. In fact, every day this week, Norm, we have a different port of call. Then we have Sydney, we have Halifax. So this is Monday and we are going to cruise right through till Saturday, Saturday. And we'll be getting off in Boston. Correct. Flying, flying home from there. So. Here's our ship, here's us in Newfoundland, and we're going to go and find some lunch now. No, don't yeah, tell them I what am. we're at. I am. So this is uh, the famous, what famous street is it in? St. John's, Newfoundland. It's either Water mm. Street or George Street. It's George Street. George Street. We uh, aren't are you happy with me so you yeah. know where you are? We are on George Street. So this is George Street, the famous party street in Newfoundland, in St. John's, Newfoundland. So if you want to have a, a night out and um, be with the in crowd, come down here. This will be hopping at night. All the bars. It's, it's just a street of bars. Actually, this has the reputation for the most bars per square inch. Okay, we'll, we'll take that one. <laughs> so anyway, we've just been to the pub behind us and we had a very nice lunch. We did. And we went to Kelly's pub. We did. 
and, and it was awesome. And the thing about this was we were there eight years ago as well. Yeah, when so we visited St. John's. We did, but uh, they repainted the building, which threw us off slightly, but yeah. I was sure it was the same place, and sure enough it was. And lunch was great, and we got Wi-Fi. Oh, really yeah. fast Wi-Fi, yeah. so we've been doing Connecting. more catching up. So we're off to explore, we're looking for wine. Yeah. So Tina can sneak it aboard, but it's Labor, Labor Day and everyone is closed. Can yeah. you believe it? The first day after three sea days, everywhere is shut. And so I think Tina's going to be unlucky for the oh. vino. So anyway, we're going to go see if we can find anywhere. Yeah. If not, then It'll we're in prohibition. <laughs> This is, uh, this is how it goes in Canada. <laughs> Most of the provinces have a liquor control board because they don't believe grown-up Canadians can buy and drink alcohol responsibility. So the oh. nanny state has yeah. to look after us. And, <laughs> and, Separate and liquor store. They are. So this is the liquor control board for Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, here we are in Newfoundland, in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland and we are desperate to get a bottle of wine for Tina otherwise she'll become super grumpy <laughs> no it means I'm gonna to have to pay the big bucks on the ship and the only place you can buy alcohol in most provinces in Canada is at the liquor control board and here is the Newfoundland liquor control board in St. John's Newfoundland and surprise surprise it's closed. So, <laughs> I la la no. Labor Day in Canada obviously isn't designed to be a happy occasion with alcohol oh. flowing. Well, certainly not from the liquor control board. So we are being turned away, doors are locked, staff are having their day off, day off and uh, Tina's not gonna... helping my wine problem, no, is it? No, it isn't. So no, no wine smuggling for <laughs> us and we will just yeah. buy a regular bottle yeah. of wine on the cruise, cruise ship. ship so we're gonna have to pay the big bucks so this is the liquor control board of newfoundland in st john's just to let you know where you would buy liquor if you and here. wine yeah so here we are on the main drag i think we're gonna call this waters street yeah water street in st john's newfoundland and we have just noticed a brand new mu mural, as the mural. Would say, a mural that's on the side of this building and it's a brand new fast food chicken restaurant and they've commissioned a mural uh, just to liven the place up. Yeah and apparently we just spoke to a local gentleman and he said it was just posted, just painted like a week ago. So one of the things to do in Newfoundland is to get screeched in and so you would have a nice rum and kiss the card so here's a t-shirt to go along with it so team here we are water street famous street in newfoundland one of the oldest streets in canada and right behind us we have a growing trend in canada which, which is, is the cannabis store so we could make happy hour really happy couldn't we yes we could so here's a store that's selling cannabis there's another one on the street and uh, happy times ahead. According to this, you can have it in smoothies, vitamins, all sorts of things. Sounds positively <laughs> healthy. It does. So That's way too healthy for me. We are not advocating the use of cannabis no. uh, one way or another. But we just thought it would be something that Canada is leading the way yeah. of the world. And why not take a look at it? So yeah. it's and the future. And this is the third or fourth place we've seen on this street. So, so it's then in high it, demand. It's high demand in St. John's. The one thing you'll find about St. John's, Newfoundland, if you spend any time here, is the street is very flat by the water. Correct. And then across the road from the street. <laughs> it's not flat. No. It's stairs to everywhere and this is a fairly typical stair to a neighborhood we stayed at the top of these stairs about eight years ago in a sort of 
the forerunner of Airbnb. Yeah. So it's it really is uh, an exercise waiting to happen. Yeah, and actually this is not as bad as a lot of them. Some of them are double this. Yeah, it is. So anyway, if you want to get up to the residential area, you have to take, take this. You found yourself a chair. I did. Look at this. There's like six of them, all different. Whoa, I'm sliding down backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Just beautifully coloured chairs in downtown St. John's overlooking the water. This is fantastic. Oh, and you can see our ship, Norm, over there. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Oh, we found ourselves some coloured Arirondack chairs or Muskoka chairs, depending on where you come from. I know. Well, this is beautiful in the sunshine, in our colourful chairs in St. John's. And we're overlooking the water here, which is just beautiful. And we see it our is. cruise ship over there, and this is turning out really nice. At least our cruise ship hasn't left yet. That's a plus sign, Norm. It is for us. Otherwise, we would have to be paying big bucks to fly to the next port oh, of Oh, I know. That would be too much. <laughs> Or we could just go home from there. No, we couldn't because you, you can't get a direct flight from here. Oh dear. So, and tomorrow we're going to be in the French island of St. Pierre, which is yeah. very exciting because we've never been there. So we're just enjoying the lovely weather we in St. John's. Beautiful blue skies. And being mm. able to walk after our three days at sea. I know, get our sea legs. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is us having a little rest after lunch in St. John's. So this is the view from our colourful chairs <laughs> and that's our ship and in front of our ship is a oil field service vessel and I think they have a huge water cannon on there maybe so they can fight oh. fires on oil platforms. Wow, so it looks kind of technical doesn't it? Norm? It does, yeah. So anyway it's just oh. good to be close to our ship so it doesn't take off and leave us behind. Well, our time in St. John's is over. Yeah, it's coming to an end. Oh, there's a noisy bike. Yeah, there's lots of them around. <laughs> so we're walking back to the ship and we're going to get ready for dinner tonight. Well, we're gonna first of all, we're gonna see the sail away. Yeah, that'll be nice to see St. John's yeah, go through the narrows again. It'll be beautiful. And then we will uh, be able to have a nice dinner, maybe a little glass of wine for somebody. Yeah. And so we've had an awesome day in St. John's, Newfoundland. And, and I, thank you for joining us. Yeah, and it's been a just beautiful day, blue skies. So we're going to try and find the ship. We are. Here's the ship. Here's the ship, we found it. It's right in the middle of town, so there's no misplacing it. No. It's... And that's the great thing about uh, ports like St. John's is they just drive the cruise ship right into town and literally you just, just... steps away from the main, main street. So mm -hmm. we're ready to go back on board and start happy hour. Yeah, which is great. Did you have a good time in Newfoundland I in did. St. John's team? I really enjoyed it. It was nice. We had a great lunch. Did you remember it from last beautiful. time? Yes. I, yeah, actually walking around, it, it's all come back. Yeah. It's very nice. Nice nice town, nice people, very warm, very friendly. Highly recommend it if you get a chance to come to St. John's Newfoundland and tour around outside. It's beautiful countryside. So here we are, ready to go. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. So here we are, team. We're sailing away from St. John's, Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. We have the town behind us. We do. You mm -hmm. can see the rooms, which is the cultural center up on the Kind of hill. high up on the hill. So we're just waiting for the final cast off, and we'll be on our way to San Pierre de Miquelo. Which is a French, French dependency, just 15 miles off the coast of Canada. Wow, and it also takes euros. Yeah, do you have any euros left? I do, I saved some. Oh, and what are you going to spend your euros on? 
Um, I don't know, maybe it's souvenirs. Maybe a bottle of wine? Yeah, oh, <laughs> well, no, because I was really lucky because we didn't get a bottle of wine. But when we got back, we oh. had a bottle of wine courtesy of guest services. We got a present. We did, so we're back in the wine business. <laughs> Is that because we're important YouTubers? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Everything's because we're important YouTubers. It isn't. It isn't. We're only teasing you because these people have never heard of us, right? No. But, but they might, Norm. The more we do these things. It is. But it was very, <laughs> it was very gracious <laughs> of them to give us a nice bottle of wine for Tina. Yeah. And we're eternally grateful. Thank you. 